reporting. The BCCI has banned journalist Borya Majumdar for two years for threatening and intimidating cricketer Vritiman Saha. The ban, which includes not getting a press accreditation for any of the matches in India, an embargo on interviewing centrally contracted players and no access to any cricket boards or state units facilities has been made after the Apex Council rubber-stamped the three-member fact-finding committee's recommendations. So those, of course, uh, that, of course, is a copy of uh, the letter that's been put out by the BCCI. And we'll also put out a series of tweets uh, that was actually put out uh, by Vridhiman Saha, uh, who talked about the fact that he faced intimidation from a, 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 a respected journalist. And he put out... Uh, uh, a screenshot of those WhatsApp messages which went viral. He, of course, refrained at that stage from naming the journalist. He said he was hurt and offended and he thought that he won't tolerate such kind of behavior and doesn't want to go through this kind of bullying. So he dis decided to expose the chat in public eye, but he at that juncture didn't reveal the name of the journalist. But the BCCI, in a scathing letter today, has not just revealed the name of journalist Borya Majumdar, but also uh, he is now facing a suspension. Osama joins us with the very latest. Uh, Osama, that screenshot and that tweet had gone complete, completely viral a couple of weeks ago, if I'm not wrong, when Vridhiman Saha had shared that on Twitter. But he stopped short of, uh, of actually naming the journalist. But the BCCI has named Borya Majumdar and taken action. Yes, in fact, BCCI has uh, named uh, and uh, banned uh, uh, Borya Majumdar for... Uh, uh, for in fact, uh, the senior uh, journalist Borya Majumdar for two years for uh, intimidating Ridhiman Saha. Saha, in fact, had uh, alleged that he was uh, intimidated by a journalist for not giving an interview. He did not uh, uh, reveal his name. Then he later revealed all the details to a three members uh, BCCI committee, which was probing the matter in March. Uh, now, after initially denying uh, the allegations, Borya Majumdar, uh, he in fact, in a Twitter video, identified himself as the one accused by Saha. Uh, Saha, as we all know, is a centrally contracted player. Saha had, uh, uh, like you mentioned, posted a series of tweets on uh, February 23rd to make the charge, following which the B BCCI uh, then initiated a probe into this particular matter. Now, let's give our audience a sense of a timeline about this whole controversy. Uh, it all began after the 37-year-old was ignored for the home series uh, against Sri Lanka. Uh, Saha, in sort of an outburst, he revealed some important dressing room conversations uh, with head coach Rahul Dravid. He said that he was told by Dravid in South Africa that he was no longer a part uh, uh, in the scheme of things, uh, the wicketkeeper. He also revealed how the chairman of the National Selection Committee, uh, Chetan Sharma, he told him that they were not considering him anymore. Uh, he has uh, also recently, very recently, been demoted to Group uh, C of uh, the BCCI central uh, contracts list. Uh, and after the whole WhatsApp controversy erupted, he mentioned that he has uh, told the committee uh, everything. Uh, he has shared all the details with them and that the BCCI then had asked him not to talk about the meeting outside uh, uh, this. And uh, uh, NDTV has now accessed, uh, as you showed, uh, the BCCI order in which it clearly states that uh, Majumdar has been banned from getting any sort of accreditation as a member of the press in any of the cricket matches, uh, be it domestic or international in India. Uh, it also states that Majumdar has been banned for two years for uh, interviewing, from interviewing any registered players in India. Uh, he is also, in fact, been banned for two years uh, from accessing any BCCI or members association-owned uh, uh, cricket facilities.